Yo, what is going on YouTube and what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. Now, I did do a video a couple of weeks back talking about my top 10 modifications for under £100 and that was quite specific to any car. Now, as you guys probably know if you're followers of, followers of the channel, if you're not a follower and you're a new subscriber, hit up that subscribe button you will definitely be missing out. I own a Mark 1 MX-5 and today we want to do a top 10 video which is a lot more specific to that. So we're going to talk about the top 10 free modifications you can do to your MX-5. Now this list is going to cover the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 MX-5. I'm not going to be going to NCs and NDs in this video mainly because I've never owned one and you know you probably can do some of these modifications but you probably wouldn't want to on the slightly newer models. A because they're probably not needed or some of them definitely not needed and B because some of them may devalue the value of the car. It depends on the buyer but anyway let's fire away. Now first on the list is a foam ectomy seat modification. Now for anyone who's a taller MX-5 owner they'll know very well that finding space inside the MX-5 can be rather difficult. Now I'm six foot two so it's safe to say I'm a fairly tall fella and you know what actually I fit in the MX-5 quite well even without this but it is definitely beneficial and once I did this modification when I had stock seats now I've got uh, bucket seats but when I had stock seats it did definitely give me the extra inch or two of legroom and headroom in the MX-5. Now what I mean by doing this is what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and unclip the bottom of the seat. So you're going to take the seat out and you can basically take off the bottom tray and there's the foam part which goes into like the base of the tray. You can actually just slice that off and cut it off completely. Now what that does, it allows the air to be a bit less foam so you sit lower in your seat. This is positive because it gives you extra room but it also can be a negative because if you do cut off too much you can actually feel not the floor pan but the floor pan of the seat which is definitely not uncomfortable but then again the MX-5 isn't historically known for being the most comfortable car anyway so yeah I think it's a pretty good modification to do especially if you need the additional leg and headroom. Another benefit of this is it also just means you're hugged slightly more in the seat because you sit lower down so the sides of the seat actually almost act like bolsters on a bucket seat definitely not the same effect definitely not sufficient for track driving but then again it's an added benefit if you are doing this modification and if you're considering weighing up the options for and against i'd definitely consider that point as well second on the list is a rear bumper cut the bumper on the mx5 or the rear bumper anyway almost acts like a parachute because if you've seen one it's kind of shaped like that so air comes through and it basically gets trapped behind that bumper which thus creates drag now a bumper cut is when you basically cut out the middle section of that which wraps back around on itself to almost alleviate the I guess umbrella effect it has in catching air and what this does a it looks pretty cool looks a bit mean looks more performance orientated I really like the look of it especially with my dual exit car bike cat back exhaust system I think it just looks really nice really clean fucking hell yeah like I was saying before the phone went absolutely flying off my mount yeah I think it looks really nice really clean Reduces drag. What I would recommend when you're doing this is mock up a stencil. So where there's the original cutout for the exhaust, I basically mock that up with a mock up stencil which traces that. Then you can flip it over and do it on the other side, measure it all up really nicely. Always remember, measure twice, cut once, and it will stop any problems when doing this sort of thing. I'd also recommend taping it up and masking it up. I did do a video on this, but we won't go into it now, but the channel is rebranded. All of my videos are no longer on the channel, so I'm I have got a video of it but mask it up and it basically stops melted plastic coming up and ruining your paint so definitely do that and then yeah just file it down job will be an absolute good one so that's number two on the list a bumper cut on the rear of the mx5 now number three on the list is a modification which i kind of have done and kind of haven't done number three is an ac delete now the ac compressor unit weighs i can't remember off the top of my head so i'm not gonna just bullshit a figure but it weighs a hell of a lot and it's a weight which you can cut completely from factory. Now ignore that sound in the back, there's a bottle of Prosecco rolling backwards and forwards whenever I brake or accelerate. So ignore that banging sound if you can hear it. Hopefully it's not smashed because I kind of fancy a nice little tipple tonight. But anyway, it weighs a hell of a lot. Personally, I don't need it. I live in the UK, South London, massive. And, <laughs> and basically I, I don't need AC. Like for me, it's a bloody convertible car. If I get too hot, I'll open the windows and take the roof down and the wind does a perfectly sufficient job at cooling me down. Maybe if you live in a hotter climate, this wouldn't be as advisable, but anyway, it worked well for me. Now, what I 
did, because my car actually wasn't like spec from factory with AC. It obviously just had the standard like blower and uh, heater. And I deleted the whole lot. So literally it doesn't even blow air out the vents. It just can't. I've like bypassed the two hoses which come into the uh, cabin of the car. Just literally just connected them up and yeah, removed all that weight, which literally shaved off bloody, it's got to have been like 20 kilos maybe, something substantial like that anyway. If I'm completely wrong, don't blast me in the comment section down below. That's just a rough guess. I've done it ages ago off the top of my head. But yeah, I'd recommend doing this. One, it just free, frees up weight and two, I didn't need it. So three modifications, so you can up that power to weight ratio. So yeah, that's another one on the list. Now, number four on the list is to depower your steering rack. Now, you know what? I've never actually driven an MX-5 with power steering, so I can't comment. My car, again, was specced from factory with no power steering option. And you know what? I absolutely love the steering feel, the handling of the car. It just feels so raw and bare bones, almost like a, I don't know how you describe it, almost like a go-kart. I mean, I know most people do refer to the MX-5 almost like a go-kart chassis and a go-kart platform, but yeah, I really, really like the car without the power steering. And actually, tell a lie, I've driven my friend's Mark II. Was it Mark II? No, it was the Mark one he got. And that's Aaron, car obsession. I'm not sure if he's watching this, but what's up, buddy, if you are? I drove that Mark one when he first got it, took it for a test drive. Um, that had power steering. And yet, again, handled really well. I just personally prefer the feel without the power steering. I really, really like it. So you can depower your steering rack. That doesn't lose too much weight, but it, you know, it removes the power steering pump as well, which is a fairly meaty object. Same as the AC compressor also. So yeah, definitely one, I, I, I would definitely consider doing it, you know? I mean, first of all, I would just say before you go ahead and do that, test drive a car without power steering. And if you're local to London or that sort of way, you know, you're more than welcome to come down and take my MX-5 around the block, as long as you're insured and everything's legal like that, and you don't drive it like an absolute nut job, I'm more than happy for you to come down and test out an MX-5 without power steering. And that's gonna be obviously when there's an engine in it, because currently it's sitting with no engine and a brand new smooth engine bay. That's just for all the new viewers. But yeah, that's number four on the list. We've had quite a lot of deletes, so we've had two deletes out of the first four, so I'll try to lay off those for a couple, because there's not many other deletes which I would actually recommend doing. I'd unless you're going for like a full smooth bay, which I am, but you know, the standard MX-5 owner doesn't necessarily go for that. Now, number five on the list is actually a soft top pull strap. Now, I'm not sure how many people have done it. I am 99% sure that I invented this. Now, if anyone knows any different, anyone can prove that someone else, or it's been mentioned somewhere else prior to when I did, I mean, I, the video is not on my YouTube channel anymore, but it's privatized and I've got it on there date was probably like 2017 no yeah late 2017 early 2018 sort of time and i'm 99% sure that no one had done this or no one had thought of this before or not that i could found to find documented anyway now what this is is on your soft top you've got a little handle which you obviously use to pull up the soft top when you modify your car now even if you haven't modified it but for me i have a roll bar this is my daily obviously there's no roll bar here but there's a roll bar in the car i've got bucket seats harnesses so even turning around, you, I can't physically reach that handle. Now, all I've actually done is I've taken off that little handle and basically got a gym bag strap, the thick kind of, is it nylon or whatever it is, strap. Basically drilled two holes through it, melted it to stop all of the threads from fraying and then just bolted that underneath the handle. So where the bolts go through, it goes through the handle and then through the strap into the car and the exact same on the other side. So you've got a long strap coming out of it and you can literally have that sitting right here and pull up the soft top without having to turn around and lean back. Now, when I tell you this is a bloody useful modification, I you know, cannot recommend it any highly enough. It's free. Everyone has got one of them straps in their house. If you think you don't, I will personally come around to your house and I will find one in your house and then you can pay for my travel there and back, just if I'm right. Anyway, jokes aside, yeah, I definitely recommend doing this. Now, loads of people do ask me, where do you store this when you're driving the car and the roof's up? Because obviously the handle's up here then, so you'd have a big dangly strap just dangling down here, walloping you in the face, bada bing, bada boom, slap, wow. So anyway, <laughs> what you do, you can actually tuck it up underneath it. There's like, you can tuck it under there or underneath your headrest. Now, let me just 
for educational purposes. You can see my headrest in the Toyota Corolla, and you can just tuck it literally behind there, and it acts as a perfect little holder to keep it up out your way when the roof's up whilst you're driving. Now, we're gonna quickly stop. I'm gonna go inside and make some dinner. I've just gone to pick up some few bits from the shop. We'll catch up after I've had dinner, jump back out here, go for another little spin again, and we'll carry on with number six to 10 on the top 10 free modifications you can do to your MX-5. So number six on the list is to advance your ignition timing. Now, this is only for non-VVT motors. So all of Mark 1 and some of the Mark 2 early, earlier year models you can do this on. Now, from factory, stock timing is between 10 and 12 degrees. And you can actually advance this to 14 degrees using a timing gun, that sort of thing. Now, you may be wondering, why do you want to do this? Well, what this benefits, or how this benefits you, is it allows you to move your torque curve down about four to 500 RPM. Now, what are the benefits of that? You may be screaming. Well, it just means you hit peak torque at a lower RPM than you would otherwise, which allows you to increase your acceleration, increase your knots 60 times, and it's a free power modification. Who would have thought that? Free power, I'm definitely in. Number seven is weight reduction. Now, this is one where I think there's a fine line for me personally between what is effective weight reduction and what is just too much now it all depends on what the goal is for your car if you're going for just pure track drift or whatever car then 100 percent just strip that thing out and gut it take off the door cards you can get rid of rid of so much weight by just taking out bits which you don't need now as my mx5 is going to be my daily driver it is very impractical to take out that, so much weight doing so and there are little bits you can lose like i cut out bits and pieces when I've been doing modifications. Like I mentioned before, your AC delete and power steering delete, that frees up a lot of weight. And there's loads of places as you're doing modifications along the way when you're replacing parts where you can lose weight. So I definitely recommend weight reduction. Now number eight isn't necessarily a modification, but to me, it will make your car look better. So I'm gonna keep it on the list. Now it's to clean up your exterior and do a full detail. Now. If you're a petrol head, you'll have all of the kit to do so. So why not take some time to do a polish? If you have like a dual action polish, I definitely recommend that with some cutting compound if you've got some swirl marks. Don't use cutting compound if your paint's really thin. You kind of be able to tell by what nick it's in already. Um, but yeah, cutting compound basically just almost disintegrates the first layer of paint and brings it back and smooths it all off. So it's really, really good for removing swirl marks. But yeah, just proceed with caution you know don't use too much cotton cutting compound and don't focus on one little area too much otherwise you may wear through the paint all the way back to primer number nine on the list is if you own an mx5 you will know that when you basically leave the key in the ignition and you open the door you get this absolutely horrific buzzing sound coming from underneath the dashboard it is resemblant off like a cat being dragged backwards down the motorway screaming it is atrocious so what you can do you can actually just literally disconnect that buzzer under the dashboard now you may be saying because an mx5 you don't necessarily well most people don't lock it with the keys so what they do is they lock the inside and as you're closing the door you hold the handle open and that locks the car so the buzzer is useful in that sense you don't lock your keys in the car i've not done that before i've locked them in the boot but that's a story for another day but if you're sane enough i think personally i'd rather risk getting my keys trapped in the car than listening to that buzzing sound every time i get out of the car because it did my absolute nothing and it's literally as simple as you locate that buzzer and you rip that plug out literally or cut the wires and just neaten it up slightly whatever you want to do but deleting that buzzer is definitely definitely great for your sanity and number 10 on the list i have mentioned weight reduction quite a lot in this video but what I would recommend as your final weight reduction tip is to remove your hair dryer and your hairdressing or barber's accessories from the boot. Now, as you know, all MX-5 drivers are hairdressers and these tools and equipment can take up unprecedented weight in the boot. So it's as simple as literally popping open your boot and removing those bad boys when you're not working on your clients makes a world of difference. It can shave pounds and pounds off of the car's weight so i definitely recommend doing that guys now all jokes aside that was my top 10 free modifications you can do to your mx5 thanks so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions which i haven't mentioned on this list for free modifications you can do to your car thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one peace